Welcome to all of you in orientation pro program of industrial training. As you all must be aware, we are here to give you short information regarding your industrial trainings, training and rules and regulation you are going to follow during your industrial training. So to start up with the session, I would like to invite Associate Dean on Student Affairs, Faculty of Engineering, Assistant Professor Chet Kul, to please come up and share a few words with the students. Give him a warm welcome, please. On behalf of the on behalf of the faculty of engineering, I'm delighted in welcome you all to join us for ISE Industrial Training Orientation Program. Most importantly, it is a chance for you to build network and strengthen cooperation. I believe you all will you play an important role in improve the economic program and make a strong link with industrial sectors. As a very popular saying, all the world is a laboratory to the inquiring mind. But at the same time, you cannot wander around to get knowledge and information, which will help you in excelling your field. It is very important to find a stable platform where you can testify your skills before entering <coughs> in the, this big corporate world. In this competitive world, it has become very much important for learners to execute their learning in specific model training program to testify their skill and caliber and hence develop the needs for industrial training in the most <coughs> important requirement to complete technical education is give first hand experience to the prospective ed employee about the things they will be working on in future it's help them in building their interpersonal skill it's provided life exposure to the corporate world where you learn professionalism and basic etiquette on how to present yourself in a professional atmosphere. Finally, I wish you all to be very good in turn. Learn as much as you can during you <coughs> your internship period and come up with flying colors. Thank you. Thank you, Ajahn, for sharing a few words with our students. Next, I would like to invite Ajahn Nalinonj, Deputy Director on Administration, to please come up and share a few rules and regulations which you all have to follow during your industrial training. So please concentrate over here for next few minutes, right? So I have to hold it? Okay, good evening, student. Good afternoon, right? Good evening. I'm not sure. It's not going to be minutes, but it's going to be half an hour at least. <laughs> okay, so bear with me on this. Okay. Um, I think all of you have uh, attended the uh, info session already, right? Anyone? No? Why? Oh, me in. Okay. Ha. Huh. 
this is a follow up from, from the last info session. So uh, any information that is already discussed during info session, I will try to um, skip so that uh, we can uh, be quite short uh, on this session. Okay, but if you still have questions, then don't hesitate uh, to, to raise your hand and ask, okay? Um, today's session, we'll talk about the objective of the um, internship, in case anyone not, not, <laughs> not know. Um, the registration process, the related documents, they're going to be a lot, so pay attention on that. The requirements and the data for um, this year, okay? First is the objective. Okay, um, the keyword is that I highlight in late um, is for you to experience a real working situation in school. You work uh, with your classmates, uh, maybe for like the course or homework, but uh, this is for real, for, for the real company. So um, you will learn the real working situation there in the industrial training for about two months. Okay, and at the end of the training, we expect uh, that you achieve four main things. Okay, quite uh, text intensive there, so um, I will highlight only the, the important word here, the uh, aspect of engineer works. Okay, so by the end of the internship period, you should check yourself whether you have uh, experience uh, enough to describe the real aspect of the engineering works. Okay. Um, Next is your role as an engineer in the workplace. The third one, keyword here is the teamwork. Okay, not the teamwork only um, the student now, but uh, also maybe you are a supervisor, you are a manager, uh, maybe if you have like uh, the technician working with you, you will also um, teamwork with all those uh, staff. Okay. Uh, the first one is solving engineering problems by applying technical knowledge. How many years of technical knowledge have you gained up to this point? Some say one. <laughs> Only one year? Two? Three? You're confident with three year technical knowledge that you have so far? Okay, <laughs> so you get a chance to experience um, solving the problem with um, all the technical knowledge that you have learned from um, day one that you enter an ISE. Okay, now um, this is about the rules and regulation. Okay. Everyone knows that um, this course run during the summer semester. Okay, so don't register uh, this in the normal semester, we're gonna register this in the summer, which is uh, summer semester only. And the uh, eligible student will be at least third year student have accumulated at least 64 credits. I believe all of you already meet this requirement because um, I asked you to confirm your uh, understanding and also press the accept button last time. Any of you didn't do that in the system? I don't know what am I talking about. No, right? So everyone press the accept button already, right? Okay, so that means you have to have at least 64 credits at the first semester of that academic year. And this one is very important. You are not permitted to register any other course concurrently. Any question on this? Okay, everyone understand this one, right? Okay. Next is about the incompletion grade. If you obtain a grade incomplete or I in any course from the uh, previous semester, you have to resolve that to formal grade within the first two weeks of the summer semester. Otherwise, uh, it will be automatically converted to grade F. Anyone fall into this category? Still having an I? No, right? No issue so far. Why does someone have a smile on the face? Okay, now the registration procedure. I think if uh, none of you have a problem or issue with uh, the uh, previous slide, you can go ahead and do this. Uh, for the first one is to register this, so you have to pay attention to the date. May uh, 
20th to May 22nd is the time that you can register for industrial training. I think all of you did that for other calls. So uh, this one is not a problem to you, right? You know what to do here. Um, that's the course name. And uh, same like other uh, registration that you have to pay um, two fees. The first fee is the tuition fee, which is uh, payable at the uh, SCB. Okay, and the cost here is uh, four thousand five hundred baht. Okay, so cheaper than uh, the normal semester. And the time there is uh, May twenty nine to June second. Okay. Another fee is the program fee at ISE. The cost is that uh, for Thai students and for foreign students is uh, different. As you know, um, like in a normal um, semester, the rate is different for Thai students and foreign students. So um, this is the rate, and you have to pay this early June. We will um, post in the website when is the due date for this. Okay, so. For the summer semester, cover. We'll check that and uh, uh, let you know. Okay, so um, you note down the date for this tree. In your book, not forget. Cup for just like in the normal semester. How do you pay for that? Huh? Okay, now the requirement for um, this industrial training or internship. Uh, first, you have to attend this orientation. Why? Because I will tell you rules and regulation and about uh, the related documents. So uh, it's very important that you have to, uh, um, you have to um, sit in and also um, note down all the important notes here. Okay. Next one is that the training period have to cover at least. 280 working hours, 35 working days, 7 working weeks. This is and, not all. You know what and and all means? Have to meet all the requirements. Minimum of this. Any question? Not all, nah. <laughs> okay. Um, next is the submission of all related documents. We will talk about the related document one by one in detail. Okay, uh, you have to submit that on time. And the time, um, some of the document is different from one person to another person because it depends on the the uh, period of uh, internship that you um, re register with the company. Hello, <laughs> Mr. Ah, okay, and so for you is that for scholar, ISC scholar, that one will be waived by the scholar. Program fee, yang diao. Ah, okay, only program fee. Sorry, I take my word back. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. Only program fee, right? You're right. So for the program fee, if you are the scholars, then that one is waived. But for the tuition fee, that is um, for the university. So it's the the rules and regulation of Chuang Kong University. So we cannot waive that for you. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so those are the three major requirements that we have. If you fail to comply with the requirements I just said, you will automatically result in U grade. Do you know what U is? 
unsatisfactory. Okay, now, nah. so th um, that's the checklist. Now about the related document, first industrial training booklet. Okay, it's downloadable from ISE website, which got hacked. Anyone of you here is the hacker? <laughs> Hope not. <laughs> okay, uh, we we're fixing that. Okay, uh, but once everything is available, then I will try to make this um, make this available for you in the uh, ISA website. So that one contains all information you need to know about industrial training. Premier is in the process of updating everything and then try to put it back into the website. Okay, so if it's not on, then follow up with Pime. <laughs> who, who don't know Pime yet, my? Ah, okay. Okay. Um, as our student, we have to nominate you to the organization so that uh, they know that um, you are the, the official student here. So you have to have the official letter to present yourself. Pime will be Pime again will be the one who prepared this letter from you, uh, for you, and uh, you can pick up from ISE office on the date given there. That's Pime commitment. Okay. Um, so on the first day of training, don't uh, go without anything. At least carry this letter with you. Okay. And the next form that you need to know is the bi-weekly report. And by the name, you know that you have to do this bi-weekly. You have to report this bi-weekly. Okay, next one is supervisor evaluation. Okay. By mentioning the supervisor before I forget, some of you, when you sign your name here, you will see the asterisk at your name. That that asterisk is uh, the request for your attention that uh, we, we need to know if you intern aboard, is there any supervisor or um, lecturer that recommend you to that uh, internship opportunity. If you have a particular uh, advisor, uh, we will try to make them your your supervisor who evaluate you for industrial training. So that's why we have the asterisk on your name for you to, to put the uh, instructor name on that. Mm. For ICE students, some of them haven't uh, put the instructor name yet, so please uh, do so when you're leaving the room, okay? <laughs> Next is the uh, form called FIT3 is the information on the training organization and supervisor that you need to inform us. Okay, so that we can keep track of your training organization and your, uh, all of your training data. Okay, and uh, last but not least, um, the big one is the full report. Okay. Uh, another one is not um, your your full responsibility here, but I have to be by the evaluator who is the instructor who will grade you on this one. It's a summary report that um, the evaluator or the uh, instructor will, will um, check all of the later documents and um, grade you. So they will have to provide us the summary report um, based on your evaluation. Okay, so the thing that um, you have to Note down, it's at least this four. Fit one, prepare by yourself. Fit two, you have to follow up that. Okay, we'll talk about that one by one later. Fit three, you have to fill that in for us. And the full report, you have to submit that. Okay, but all this will be online, okay? All this will be online, so let me briefly go through the ISE intranet again. Everyone uh, have the login, username and password already, right? 